and effects, ladies and gentlemen. And well, now in this uh, series of movies, I just want to show you how the 3D world works. And well, actually, I'm not going to use uh, Maya or anything like that. It's all about images in 3D. If uh, like probably you you went to the movies recently, and uh, you can see that now if you want to go and watch a 3D movie, you need uh, special glasses. But they are not uh, red and, and, and blue anymore. They are kind of a different type of uh, glasses, right? So that's what I want to... Uh, I'm going to talk about that in, in this series of movies. So if you want to know how we can create this type of effect, this type of movies, using After Effects, Houdini, uh, or Photoshop, you can stay here and watch this uh, series of movies. All right? Well, the first thing is that I am here inside Adobe Illustrator. Okay? Adobe Illustrator and now what we have here is uh, I want you to use your imagination and please just uh, take a look of this and imagine that we have a camera here okay it doesn't matter what type of camera it, it could be your cell phone it could be uh, your old uh, camera recorder you know uh, I, I don't know okay even beta okay it will work so what we want is take a picture take a, an image or a video or anything and then we if we take a video obviously we need to save one frame <laughs> and then we can place that frame inside Photoshop alright let's say that we take a picture and now we have one image in Photoshop well now I want you to imagine that this is one picture okay and actually I'm just gonna move this a little bit and well this is my, my, my image inside Photoshop now what I have here is imagine that this is our object, okay? It could be a person, anything, it doesn't matter, but this is your objective, okay? What uh, what matters in your picture? And well, that's what we have. Now what we can do in order to create this uh, 3D effect is that we need to manipulate the channels of this uh, image, the colors. How we see the colors on, on this image is going to make us believe that we are in a 3D environment okay and well the thing here is that we're gonna need here uh, glasses but uh, not the type of glasses that you get in the movie theaters now what you need is one simple uh, two simple pieces of uh, uh, you know gels uh, from the the ones that you use for filters on your lights well that type of thing you can put that on, on your on your eyes one green one blue and one red and that's gonna make you have this kind of effect you can make them with uh, cardboard and I don't know but they're easy to to find now other things you can buy a movie okay uh, a DVD now they come with uh, that's what I did and I, I bought a, a movie and in that movie they uh, they give me probably four uh, different uh, glasses so that's uh, what you can do and well now imagine we are inside Photoshop and we want to create this effect well you have your glasses now all right what we can do is go to the channels and if you don't know uh, anything about the channels inside Photoshop I recommend you to watch uh, some of our other videos uh, in our website we have um, a series of videos about Photoshop and we talk uh, about channels all right so you can uh, go there and check that out now what I want you to to do is move the channels okay for example if I take the red channel I can move it like this and if I have my glasses on I'm gonna see this effect the, the 3d effect happening alright because I mean I am uh, tweaking the information that my eyes are uh, can see now my eyes can see some color with a one eye and other colors are kind of hiding well it's just an effect that uh, we kind of uh, cheat okay to uh, and our brain is thinking that uh, these things are now 3d but actually they are just flat images all the time but that's the the type of thing we can we can get using our 3D glasses, and this, uh, my friends, uh, is an old, a really old technique. It's not uh, new, okay? If you remember when you were a kid, uh, probably you get this type of uh, glasses in the cornflakes uh, boxes, you know. And uh, well, it's it's old. I mean, 70 years old. Uh, I don't know, but it's really, really old. And that's the kind of effect that we are going to to get uh, using Photoshop. But okay, for now, just uh, leave it as it is. Now let's move on to our next example. Now I have this other one called projection. And what I have here is uh, a, a different setup. I'm going to hide this one for now. And now what we have here is a different representation. Now as you can see, instead of having one camera 
and uh, one image tweaking the channels now what I have is one image and now I have two cameras and I can actually tweak the position of the cameras so instead of moving my image now I can move my cameras this is a new technique okay this is the new era of the 3d environment and what we can do here is actually well first thing I want you to know that I my, my this uh, cameras they shouldn't be like that because so obviously what we want is kind of uh, simulate the eyes and obviously the eyes are not like that and not like that either because really it will look like uh, you know one eye going one way and the other one going in, in different directions but okay what I want you to know is that we uh, now with the, the new the new way of doing 3D is recording two different images so you simulate that this eye okay is your left eye and obviously this one is going to be your re uh, right eye and we capture different information okay so we have actually two different pictures two different uh, set of images or film anything okay and then when we work with our images now instead of uh, bringing this into Photoshop we can do it in Photoshop obviously but uh, for example we can use nuke okay and what I can do is uh, if I go inside nuke I can see this type of thing obviously I'm gonna have this one like probably here and this one probably here alright depending how you uh, have your your cameras okay you're gonna have different positions and then when you use your new glasses now we're gonna use the the sunglasses the ones that uh, they give us now in the movie theater now when you use these kind of uh, glasses you can get different uh, simulation different emulation now the thing is that if you use your your glasses the this type of glasses right now in front of your two different images you're gonna get uh, nothing okay because you need a special projector or a special uh, TV actually the new TVs are coming next year stereo uh, TVs you're not gonna get the, this kind of effect and uh, what we need is actually uh, a 3d projector okay a stereo projector or a stereo cam that can give us uh, make us uh, give us the, the two different images at the same time okay we don't want to have the two different images um, displayed in our monitor like this one here and one uh, to my left and one to my right what I want is have only one image is projected by two different uh, lenses okay and that's how we can get that effect when you go to the movie theater now the real 3d that's what is happening they are projecting two different images and now the new glasses instead of filtering colors one red and one blue what actually they're doing is filtering um, illumination okay and uh, luminance and one is a polarized uh, glass that uh, allows you to uh, see some uh, areas of the image uh, through different uh, lights, uh, setups of lights, you know, you know what I mean, okay? And don't make it more complicated, please. <laughs> and that's uh, that's how these things are, are done, all right? So I hope you get the idea of how this works. And now we're gonna see another example, but uh, using Photoshop, we're gonna check another one using After Effects, and we're gonna use Houdini for our uh, final example. And I hope you can see all these videos in my website, cardanfx.com. And remember, if you, you like my tutorials, you like uh, my website, please let me know, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't like uh, them, well, just uh, tell me, all right? <laughs> Thank you very much, and please subscribe, uh, register on my site, and I promise I will be posting more and more, more videos. Thank you very much. My name is Carlos Lara. Bye-bye.